Hello friends and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to talk about Firefox and specifically an experimental new feature called containers. Um, if you're not aware, Firefox has a program called Testpilot which allows you to run experiments in your browser. Uh, an experiment being a feature that they might or might not add in the future and I sure hope they do add this one. Um, what is it? Containers, it allows you to run uh, different profiles in different tabs uh, or add multiple pages to a, a container and that container itself is a different profile so it has access to its own cookie store its own local storage um, and thus you can add multiple identities um, within the same browser and we'll look at it in a little bit but first how do you get it well you for you obviously you go to this web page and you click get started that will install test pilot and, and it will enable the containers for you if you already have it uh, afterwards you can go to the same page but then it's called manage and you can use the manage page to disable the containers uh, as you see here there's currently about 7000 people trying out this feature um, and it has some screenshots but let's go through it uh, in my environment uh, after you install it, you get this really cool little button here, uh, which uh, provides a drop down with the different containers that you have. I created one here already. Let's create a new one. Let's say uh, video test two. Let's make it uh, bright orange. Give it a sunglasses uh, icon. And if you click on it, you will see that it opens a new tab. It's actually kind of red. Um, it will highlight the tab with the color of the container which is a very good visual cue uh, of where you are and it will uh, add a name onto the address bar and everything that happens in this container is isolated from what happens in different containers or the default container so this page does not have access to the same uh, data as this page. So if we would go to github.com, which is a developer uh, uh, haven, uh, developer source code, open source uh, repository, people use it. I assume that you know what that is. Uh, it's not really uh, uh, necessary to know, but what is necessary to know is that you can have an account on this page. If I would go into my development container, going to GitHub will actually log me in to my actual GitHub page. So this very new container here, Video Test 2, does not have access to the cookies and local storage of my other one. So you can separate out identities uh, or environments. Um, other cool things you can do is once you have a page, you can tell uh, containers to always open it up within the development uh, tab. So if we do that, we click that, uh, we remove it, this one. And we, suppose we just type in github.com, the container manager will kick in and it will tell you, hey, you told me to open up this always into the development container. I tell it to remember my decision go to the development container and now whenever you open up the URL for GitHub, it will automatically open up in the tab within the container for, Git, uh, for development. So very cool feature for our development community. I think it's an ideal feature that you might want to uh, use, especially if you test staging and production environment, you can separate out those environments. You have good visual cues and there's things like um, sorting tabs and uh, yeah, sort tabs uh, and we'll group them, things like that. A very cool, useful addition to Firefox. I hope you will give it a try uh, I'm very enthusiastic about it and I hope they add it to uh, Firefox as a whole. Um, yeah, so give it a try. Let's see if it uh, catches on. 
Thank you for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you've not done so, uh, sub click the subscribe button and you will be notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.